Today I would like to show in a realistic fashion the differences in the preset options available on the QSC KW122s. I'm sure other QSC models are similar. On the back side of the speaker we have low frequency settings and high frequency settings. Knowing what they do can help the operator set up the system properly for their application. I will demonstrate the differences here using pictures and screenshots. The program used here is SMART by Rational Acoustics. In my last video, I talked about how important it is to be able to visualize what is actually happening in the audio spectrum. Allowing the eyes to assist the ears can fill in a lot of gaps when it comes to live sound reproduction, and you will be able to make better informed decisions. Here we have a screenshot in the normal mode and the flat mode. If I then switch the preset to vocal boost, we can see the high end of the spectrum lift itself by about 3 dB. If I then go for the deep mode, you can see the low end increase by about 3.5 dB. The low end also extends from around 80 Hz down to a solid 70 Hz at the peak. The last preset option offers a built in high pass. In this mode, you would move the switch to extension sub. This places a factory 100 Hz high pass filter on the frequency response. Typically you would do this when adding this speaker box to a subwoofer box. You could also use the setting in a floor wedge configuration where you don't want any low end information coming into your monitor. For example, low bass guitar, kick drum, or low keyboard sounds. I have very quickly demonstrated the preset options and what they do you will have to decide which sounds best for your application. If you haven't seen my last video, I would recommend that you take a look at it. It is called Live Sound Basics, Visualizing the Frequency Response. Based on that information, we can also see that this raw factory response of this KW122 may need some equalization in order to give our mixing board the best possible starting position. As always, before grabbing an EQ, Take a good listen to the speaker with some material that you know well, and if it sounds good, you may be in good shape. Next, for fun, grab a vocal mic and speak into the system and see how that sounds. With your board channel EQ flat and a vocal high pass filter set to 150 on up to 180, maybe even up to 200 hertz, you can tell easily if your main system response is in good shape or not. If the vocal sounds natural, clear and intelligible, you are probably in good shape. Based on this KW122 response, I would question the 5 to 600 hertz area. But before I cut that area, I would at least first listen to the speaker. I hope this video offers some insight into the preset options for the KW122 powered speaker and the importance of visualizing what these presets do so you can make better decisions in setting up your sound.